Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I should shut the bedroom door. Joe is on the bed napping with Rocket. He just got back, he went out on a job today. And he's tired now, and I'm a little bit tired too, but I'm going to just push through it. <laughs> I have not done a chatty type video in a little bit, so I thought I would sit down and chat with you guys. I am also working on my crochet block of the month video. Today is uh, March 14, this is 2024, and I need that video ready by tomorrow. Now I have made almost the entire block that I will be showing you guys. Normally I do that after I show you the swatch and I was like, no, I'm just gonna knock out the big block. Then I'll show the swatch in the video. And I, uh, yeah, so I need to get that done, but I don't have a video for tonight. So I thought I would sit here and, and uh, chat in this very boring manner that I'm doing right now. What else can I tell you? What, what? Oh, as for the crochet block of the month, I think I came up with a join that will be forgiving when uh, squares are the same size but not the same number of stitches. And it's just because some stitches, you know, might pull more. And so um, you have to add more to make it the same size. It's a little bit of a challenge, but I saw some, uh, and I, I hope, I hope I can find those again. I liked them, so they'll be in my liked list, uh, and I might make changes from what I saw, and I haven't tried any of that kind of join yet, uh, and I decided I'm going to do the third block first, and then I'll come up on uh, with the join, and then I can do a separate video for the joining of the crochet blocks. Um, so there's that. Quilt block of the month. I uh, haven't started looking at the one for April yet, but I will be doing that soon. I'm learning that I, I can't wait to the last minute because uh, I just I get all nerved up and stuff. And I'm pretty last minute here with the crochet block. What else do I have to tell you? I got a lot of stuff on eBay and in my fabric sales on my blog, my exclusive sales that you have to be a member to buy from. But you can always look at eBay and I, uh, the leftovers go there. You always pay a higher price on eBay to cover my lovely eBay fees. And yeah, you can just go look. I do want to you know, uh, still make a crochet by row afghan. And I think I'll get started on that one soon. I keep saying that to myself, to my patrons and YouTube members. I do a daily chat with them almost every day. And I keep saying I want to do that and I never get around to it. I'm just worried about going too far into the crafty things because the ones who don't like that, they come just for the chats like this. And I was going to do a car vlog, but I wasn't going anywhere. I was just going to get in the car with Rocket and just go sit in the parking lot. <laughs> but then I thought, let's just keep it simple and I'll just do it right here. What else is going on? Um, things are going great for me and Joe. I mean, like really great. And I, I don't like to um, talk about it too much because I'm afraid it'll all fall apart and I'll jinx it or something. But uh, things are going really, really well. And to those of you who knew my, you know, experiences with men last year, it, it was, it was, a, it was tough. It was tough. I was learning the ropes again because I hadn't gone out with anybody really since my twenties. I hadn't dated, and of course, as a drunk, in um, my thirties, uh, I never went out at all. Never had a date. And then uh, got back in touch with my soon-to-be, at that time, husband. I had met him when I was only 14, and we kept in touch over the years. But then we stopped because he drank too much, and I didn't think I'd like that. But then I got to the point where I was drinking so much that I thought, hey, we might make a good couple. <laughs> and uh, we didn't date. I went to visit him and we never separated. Uh, I was supposed to go see him for like, I don't know, a week or two, something like that. And then we decided right away that uh, he'd fly back with me and move me to Texas. And we were together 16 years, something like that. And then he died from drinking. 
And then I didn't date again. Uh, he died in 16, and I started going out with guys um, last year, 2023. So I uh, felt like a newbie, a newbie, and I did a lot of online uh, dating and um, chatted with a lot of different men. And I learned something from each and every situation, even if it was just chatting with someone. First of all, I learned really quickly uh, how to determine if they're for real or not. And I don't, I don't miss it. I don't miss any of that dating site stuff. Uh, and then, um, you know, met some, went out with some, some for a length of time, some that you don't realize that I was still seeing <laughs> during the, you know, I was still seeing someone right up until I met Joe, in fact, spent my birthday with him. And uh, and Joe knew, and I was like, you know, I got plans for my birthday, and and so, uh, but that was the last time I saw that guy uh, as you know as a a thing, and I just been with Joe ever since. And again, Joe and I lived together practically from the beginning. Maybe the first two weeks, he would leave and go to Arkansas and come back and see me. And uh, I think one time he took me to Arkansas and brought me back and left and then came back. But then after that, we just went back and forth together. It was a very quick thing. And I know some of you thought that was too soon, and it isn't. If it's the right person, it's not too soon. If it's the wrong person, I'd like to know about that really quick. Uh, you know, think about it. Really think about it. If it's the wrong person and you spend a lot of time not together, it might take you a while to figure out that it's the wrong person, especially if it's the wrong person who wants you to think they're the right person because they behave in a way to make you trust them and think that they're it. When they're not, it's not even in their plan. They just want to reel you in and then destroy your life. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have that experience. And I guess if I'm going to be on this uh, talking about men thing, I'm going to tell, I guess I can speak only for women, right? Because I am one of those creatures. But I know a lot of women settle, settle for less. And I did. Um, I shouldn't say I settled for less. I hung out with what I knew wasn't going to be my guy. Um, all of them, I knew that. <laughs> There's not that many. And I didn't care. I didn't care. Um, I was kind of having fun and uh, just going with it. And it was interesting and somewhat exciting. And it gave me something to do. Uh, and I was enjoying it. I was learning a lot and I enjoyed it. Uh, and I knew none of those were going to be my guy. And with Joe, I don't know. I thought, I, I, this is certainly not my guy at first because he didn't check all my boxes. Like, uh, you know, just even simple things. That I, tall, he's not tall. I think he's 5'8 at best. I'm only 5'3, probably even less than that now. I used to be 5'4. And, you know, but, you know, those are the things that I wanted. And um, and he's not older than me, and I really wanted that. Uh, he's six years younger. But it didn't take long that there was something about him that I was like, hmm. And the fact that we were able to be together right from the beginning, going back and forth, and then him moving in, like, I don't know, in six weeks, I think, he had moved in. And we liked being together. Then we had a big hiccup. And uh, right after that hiccup, I realized that, no, I'm going to try. I want to try this again because I missed him so much. And we talked a lot during that time. And it's just been really, really good since then. So... You will find somebody, or I should say, if you're with somebody you don't care to be with, 
uh, you don't have to be with that person. There is somebody else. And I know a lot of people say I'd rather be alone than with the wrong person. I would agree with that if there's anything physical, any kind of abuse, physical especially, mental abuse too. I don't uh, want to be with that. And in that case, I'd rather be alone for uh, a few minutes until I find somebody else. Because I don't like being alone. I, I, I was alone for a big part of my life. And can I do it? Sure. Do I prefer to be with somebody who'll fucking watch Project Runway and, and uh, help me with fabric? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's just nice when you have... Um, you know, a male or a partner who is uh, fun to fucking be with and that you like a lot of the same things. And I'm just, again, knock on wood, that's what I've got now. And it's been over six months now and uh, we're pretty tight. And it's, you know, it's just really, really nice. And I feel very grateful that I found Joe, and I am the one who uh, reached out to him only to friend him on Facebook. He suggested a lot of like Memphis area people get suggested to me because uh, my son and I are you know have a lot of mutual friends, and so they'll suggest Facebook will suggest my son's friends to me and things like that. But I said, oh, he's from Memphis. Maybe that's somebody that. I could end up seeing out or whatever, so I friended him, and then he friended back to see if I was real or just one of these scammy women. And he's like, how do you know me? And I explained, I don't, but I'm, you know, in the area and just want local friends. And that's how it started. And uh, it's funny because not one of the guys uh, that I went out with was, or even just talked to, uh, was met at the bar because that's not a good place for me to be looking because most of the men are, are drinking. And so that wasn't where I was finding my guys. I was doing it through dating sites. And in this case, Facebook, it wasn't even Facebook dating. I just friended Joe. So don't settle for stuff you don't like. There are uh, people out there who are a good match. And I also am very fearful that if something happened would I be able to find somebody else like that and I have to tell myself yeah there would be there would be it's not the end all if you don't find the right guy right away or if you find the right guy and that ends up not working out there's going to be another right guy there really is and I have to constantly remind myself of that because it can make me sick to think of you know, if something happens to Joe and he's diabetic, you know, things could happen or just, you know, being in accidents. I, I hate to even think about it, but I'm at that point where I think about it all the time and I'm like, what would I do? Um, I guess I would have to just pick myself up, dust myself off, and, you know, after a while, when the pain is not as severe, you, you know, you just get back out there. And I know there were a lot of women who lost their husbands and again you know I don't think like a man so I can't speak for a man but I I think I think like a woman uh, a lot of them either had such a lousy marriage that they never want to take a chance on anything lousy again they want their freedom from that but you can have freedom from lousiness <laughs> with a man or it was such a good marriage that they think they can't, you know, find anything that would come close. But you can. You can find those things. You really can. And then, here's another biggie. Someone accepting me for who I am. Not only, um, you know, who I am on the inside, but who I am on the outside. My body, my weight loss, um, with the skin issues and all that. And, I mean, not to get too personal, but it might help somebody out there because I thought there is no one, no one who will accept that and no one I will ever feel comfortable with like that and um, with my body and things like that. And I'm telling you, uh, it's, it's so easy with Joe. At first, I wouldn't believe the things he said, and then I decided... I'm going to fucking believe it. <laughs>
he's he is he's so incredibly good to me and nice to me that it sounds like you might think that I just don't uh, you know get it that I'm just being reeled in no I I've been around enough that I know what an asshole is and what a nice guy is and you know I was very very careful all along and now it's just okay this is good and I'm going along for this ride for as long as I can and I hope it's a, a good long one I really do uh, so there's my dating pep talk for today I guess and I hate to see people alone if they don't want to be alone uh, but if you don't want to be alone you do have to do the work and get out there I don't care if it's dating sites or going out you have to be able to approach someone and talk first you know, it's not um, 1950 where the woman or the girl, the, you know, the high school girl has to hope she gets asked to dance. You have the right now <laughs> as a mature woman uh, and because it's not 1950, we have the right to do things a little bit differently. And there's so many uh, dating gurus out there and I read a lot uh, on TikTok, uh, not read, watched a lot of TikTok and, you know, I'll find the women who are about my age and talk about the issues that I have. And it, it really is helpful. Oh, and so now I'm going to Al-Anon, too. You know, I've been going to AA meetings with Joe. And I really like them for the most part. You know, I have some issues with, um, with stuff. <laughs> but for the most part... I enjoy those meetings and then I started learning a little bit more about Al-Anon and you know I asked Joe I said am I allowed to go even though my parents weren't drunks and uh, and I'm not really around people who drink and then it dawned on me I've been around people who drink the entire time I've been going out and then I thought yeah but that doesn't affect me but yeah it has affected me it has affected me with boys and with girls, um, friends, things like that. And it's, uh, it never dawned on me. It did start to dawn on me a little bit after that. You know, it doesn't matter who you're around. If you're with someone who seems to have a drinking problem, they're not always present. And uh, it doesn't mean I have to dislike these people. It doesn't mean I have to stay away from them. It just means I have to remember that, uh, whether somebody's drinking or not, but I think especially if you're drinking heavily, often, uh, you can't always, you know, judge the person, who they really are. Some people are really cool after they drank a few. Some people are assholes after they drank a few. doesn't mean that that's the real them. But when you're in a bar, you're usually just seeing the drinking part of them. So if they're really cool when they're drinking, you think they're really cool. Um, it doesn't mean that they're going to be uh, the right friend, the right match for that. Whether it's that they're just incredibly boring or that they um, might not tell the truth all the time or... Uh, maybe they just, I, I don't know, uh, don't have your back all the time, things like that. So when I went to Al-Anon, I told them, you know, how I had concerns that I didn't think I qualified. And they were like, yeah, you absolutely qualify. Even the fact that I'm with Joe, because we're two sober alcoholics, 24 years almost, and 27 for him. But you're still with an alcoholic who uh, sometimes still acts that way. And I know for a fact I still act certain ways because as I was growing up, I didn't learn the social skills that other people might have learned because I was a drunk. Same goes for Joe. He even did drugs too. So, uh, so there's still that. And... So I feel really good in Al-Anon and the meetings. I've only gone to two. I went to two different ones so that if I like both groups, 
in case I can't go to one one week, I, you know, I can go to the other or I can go to both. And it's like free therapy. I mean, it was unbelievable how connected I got to the stories that the other women were telling. One group had one man uh, and, and two younger, like teenagers. And at first I didn't think I'd like that, but I really liked that. And then the other one happens to be, at least when I went uh, earlier this week, uh, all women. And there's another one I can go to all at the same building. And that one was e today. But Joe had my car because he has an issue with his van title. So he can't drive that yet. It's been something that's been ongoing since uh, August. And hopefully we're almost down to getting that title. So I don't want you guys to worry about me. And I uh, don't talk about Joe as much because I've been doing a lot of crafty stuff. But, you know, I want him involved in my videos and things like that. He does, oh yeah, so he helps me with fabric. And I was watching Project Runway and he's, uh, one day I was sitting down to eat and I said, do you mind if I put it on just while I'm eating? And he's like, no. And I said, all right. And I had to work and I said, I'll, I'll take me 10 minutes to eat and you can go back to whatever you're watching. And he did, you know, didn't even pay attention to it. And then one night he said, if you want to watch Project Runway, you can. I said, well, when I get in bed, I will. And I did, and he didn't pay attention. And then after like three times of him not paying attention, he started saying, oh, you know, I like that. Oh, how come he made something like that? So he started to get involved, and now he is fucking addicted. I was on season three. And, um, of course, I've watched all of those, but some of them I don't even hardly remember. And I watched season three, and he came in, like, maybe at the middle of season three and watched the end. So now we have already watched season one again together. I uh, had just watched it, and two. So he's caught up. Season one and two, he said he doesn't have to see the beginning of season three. He says I started it over for him, but I don't remember doing that. And then uh, now we're on season four, and he loves it. He didn't know uh, anything about any of these reality TV shows. He's never watched them. Never watched Survivor. He's been watching that with me, and I don't know if we'll ever try to binge watch all of that, but uh, he's very into Bye. it. Just a minute, hang on. I realized I was talking very soft because the door was open, so I shut the door. Uh, he he uh, woke up from his nap and yelled my name to let me know that my phone was making noise, but it was his phone. <laughs> that was right by his head, not my phone. Um, yeah, and so now last night, I haven't watched The Amazing Race um, since I moved here because I didn't have the channels. And, I mean, I did when I had my mother, I had cable, but when she died, I got rid of cable, so I, I didn't get to watch the race for a couple of years. And uh, he's never heard of that either. And we started it last night. And at first I thought, ah, I don't think he's going to like it. But boy, by the end he did. And then I'm going to introduce him to Big Brother. So it's like a, a boyfriend uh, who's also my girlfriend. <laughs> we like the same things. And I like his things. AA, that was his thing, not mine. I went because I was being nice and grateful that he goes out to the bars with me so I would go to AA meetings with him and that ended up being a really good thing for me and you know he likes to go out too but we have cut back I don't want him out three nights a week or four nights a week like I was doing I went out some nights uh, some weeks five times in a week I went in one month something like 30 or 28 days I went out even if it was just a trivia or karaoke I, I was out all the time and I know some of you said oh he's gonna stop you now you're not going out as much no he doesn't stop me I don't want to go I like to be home it's why I wanted a man in my life I like to go out with him and uh, sometimes we just go shopping or we just ride ride around go to a park or whatever take the dog to a dog park and walk around I like to do stuff like that. I really do. And, um, but it's really cool that he likes to work with me with the fabric and I cut and he sorts and stacks. And 
So it gives us plenty to do, even just here in the apartment and watching TV. Uh, we make puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. I have one that I've been recording a little bit at a time for you guys, but I'm mostly making that one because it is so hard and he just can't see the pieces good. Uh, but we like to have a puzzle out. I told him, I said, when I get a little bit more done, he's like, yeah, then I, I will be able to probably put some in. But when I'm done this one, we'll try to have something a little bit better. Although I picked up another puzzle at the thrift store that looks impossible. It's almost like all one color. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me? But I like a challenge. I don't know. I feel like this has gone on and I'm going to have a lot of editing to do. But I just wanted to fill you in on my actual life, that everything is going really, really good. I'm very happy and I'm going to try to allow myself that happiness without uh, trying to sabotage it because I don't want heartache. <laughs> so it's like I'd rather get it done now let's just break my heart now and get it over with uh no i'm going to um just pretend that uh i have the right to be as happy as i am and i am very happy right now and again i hate to say that because you know we just don't know right we just don't know and when joe hears me talk like this he thinks i'm being negative and i always say no i'm being realistic we don't know but um I'm not doing anything foolish. It wasn't too soon. It was, uh, everything has just worked out, I think, the way it was supposed to. And there's still big chunks of the story that you guys don't know, probably won't know, probably do know, probably will never know. I don't know. You know, I just don't know. And it's uh, Joe's stories to tell, if he ever wants to. You know, do I still have bad days? Yeah, but it's not because of me and Joe, it's because of just life shit. Stuff like that can get me down big, big time, big time. And anyway, I guess I'm gonna just hang up now and I do need to call my sister today and then I want to uh, finish my crochet block and get that done and then record what I need to record for that video, have that ready for tomorrow night. And I guess that's it. I'm just, I'm happy with everything. I just wish I could have more time because there's so many things that I want to do. And there's just not enough time in the day to do all these things. But uh, I'm just going to keep myself as busy as I can and uh, just enjoy myself along the way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. Sorry. Rocket didn't even make an appearance.